What's up guys, I'm down here in the RSC with three balls that I use when there's a ton of friction on the lane and absolutely no oil. These are the three weak balls in my bag that I bring. Ball number one right here is gonna be my sneak attack. This is the ball that's gonna control the pocket but be a little weaker and a little cleaner through that front part of the lane. Key information here, we're bowling on a 43 foot pattern, a little bit of early hook possibly, and this is exactly what we wanna see for this video. A little bit of early hook, these balls are gonna float through it perfectly. Now let's go get lined up with the sneak attack. I feel like my boys hype this ball up all the time and I never get to throw it. I can see why. I can see what the hype's all about. Why don't I throw this more off? Move another two in one. That's a horrendous shot though. Yeah, when you throw it that bad, it doesn't matter. And the key is when you throw it bad to just move again, to pretend that it was the ball on the lane's fault and not you. So I'm gonna move another three into this. Oh my God. Oh yeah, let's try that again. It's a way better shot. I'm gonna go one more three and two and slow it down even more. This ball really seems to be like hooking in the middle of the lane. Um, a little more than expected. It's, you know, one of those super weak, low price point balls where I didn't think um, it would pick up that early, so actually a little more versatile than I thought coming in here. Funny. And there is a limit to how far he can move. All right, so that was my sneak attack. So that sneak attack definitely, even though it's not necessarily like a pearl ball, a sneak attack definitely is the lowest end of this three ball arsenal that I brought today. Ball number two on the list here, we have this ocean vibe, which is gonna be a little bit longer, but also definitely a little harder off the spot. It's gonna make a sharper shape than that sneak attack where the sneak attack makes a clean shape, but it's definitely a little more. This one should be a little more overall hook and also a little sharper down lane motion. I'm gonna stand in the same spot that I was with that sneak attack. Yeah, and you can definitely just see how sharp it is off the spot. Um, it really drive towards the nine instead of the sneak attack, really driving more towards the eight and really going forward through the pins. So another good one from here. Almost broke my ankle. I have to throw a good one, not a bad one. Again, same spot as the sneak attack. Really split the eight nine. Definitely a little more hook potential where I can keep throwing at the same speed and it still keeps hooking. Oh, that's around the side of it. The fact that that didn't strike is a little bit BS. That's a horrible shot. That's better. Uh -huh. mm. I'm gonna go like a three and two here because as I move it still really hasn't lost its hook potential yet where as with that sneak attack I've moved and I, ha I kept having to slow it down. This ball I just keep throwing at the same speed and it keeps popping back so three and two. Oh, that hooks so early, though. Eek. Okay, that was hooked in the wrong spot. I gotta throw another one. Lost a little bit of the down lane reaction on that shot. I'm gonna go another two and one, slow the speed down, and see if it can still come back. If it can't, then it's probably just that like three and two stronger than the sneak attack, where the sneak attack, even from that spot, I had to throw it slower. So I'm gonna go another two and one, slow down, and see if I can adjust the speed to keep the down lane motion. like a mile and a half left. Okay, so that worked. I'm gonna go another two and one and even slower.
Give myself one more chance to throw a good shot from there and then I'll switch balls to my third ball, the Purple Hammer Reactor. Yeah, just a little bit out of room there. So overall, this vibe definitely meant for those heavy friction patterns where you need to get it through the front and you can really just throw that ball to skate through the front and you can always bank on a hooking down lane. Maybe not on this 43 foot fresh pattern, but on some of those little drier conditions or even those bowling alleys where there's a lot of friction in the front part of the lane, this ball is gonna be perfect for that. And now the third ball. The Purple Hammer Reactive is definitely gonna be the most different shapes out of those three. This ball is gonna be a lot smoother and a lot, definitely a lot earlier on the lane. I can still throw it on those drier conditions, but it's very specific. If there's a ton of early hook in the front, this one will get through it, but it'll make a much smoother motion and a much earlier motion on the lane than either of the previous two, the Sneak Attack or the Vibe. So let's give it a look. Might even be a little more useful on this 43 foot. As always, I'm gonna start off where I lined up with that Sneak Attack and see what happens. That's my favorite shape, the one that strikes. Two really good shots out the gate. You can see it definitely picks up probably three or four feet earlier on the lane than either of those previous two balls. So I'm gonna move two and one, and I think this one's definitely gonna have the most versatility out of it just because it is so smooth where the other two sometimes shoot too far down lane. And on this 43 foot pattern, that one's probably gonna match up the best. And you can tell just from that shot right there, when I leak it left, the other two don't pick up. And that one, because it tries to pick up so early, it almost like sucks up to the lane and it starts to make the motion. Just like that one right there hits the pocket, whereas the Vibe, as well as the Sneak Attack, probably would have gone light and either three pinned or just missed the pocket and missed the head pin altogether. Let's move another two and one. Throw another shot from there. Order number 32, your free 30, order 3 1. Just trips out every eight pin, every six pin. They all fall every time. It's a purple hammer. Reactive. Moving another two and one here just to see. Hey. They all fall every time. Maybe not that one. All the way on the side of it. So bad. At least it hits the pocket though on the bad shots. Perfect. I've made two moves already. I've gone two and one, two. I've made three moves already. Started off at 15, looked really strong. Uh, and as I've moved, I've gotten my hand a little more around it and it's continued to pick up early enough and hook. I'm not sure this one will start to two pin when I keep moving in, but I know it might run out of energy and start leaving some flat sevens. So I'm gonna move another two and one here. And if that works, I'm gonna go another three and two before I start adjusting my speed. Oh, it hit it twice. Ah. All right, so the two and one eight pin, I'm gonna move three and two again, maintaining the same speed before I really start changing anything up. So from there, I'm just gonna throw it a little slower because as I said, it didn't quite two pin. It still got back to the head pin um, strong enough where it was able to trip everything out. But I think from there, if I slow the speed down a little bit, it'll be good. Start going high flash. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, so with that, I'm gonna move another two and one. So once again, those are my three balls for uh, no oil. The Purple Hammer Reactive is definitely the smoothest, most controllable, probably the most versatile. The Ocean Vibe is gonna be the longest and snappiest off the friction. For those really long formats, you're gonna finish probably with a ball like that. And then the Sneak Attack is gonna be a ball maybe in the middle of one of those formats where the transitions happen. You gotta get right, but you still need something a little bit smoother, whereas that Vibe is gonna go really long and snap. That Sneak Attack is gonna be a little smoother. And that Purple Hammer Reactive, for me, is just for those houses that have some really early friction and some, some of those oil patterns that are a little bit trickier. However, I still need to start off with a weaker ball just to get it through the front. So that's where those three fit in my bag and those are the three balls that I use on no oil.